What's going on YouTube? So today we're going to do kind of a different video. We haven't looked at the Civic for quite a while. As you can see, it's uh, not the prettiest car in the world, but it is my daily beater and beat it does. If you guys uh, are excited to see this DC XL10, it's kind of a temporarily built box, nothing crazy. We'll be doing that very soon. But first I wanted to do a video on installing base knob. So this is very similar to an LC1. This is just Stinger's version. Uh, this is like $10. But this is a RCA base knob. And these are my favorite. Not particularly this brand, but this brand, but I'm talking this style of base knob. Um, the other base knob option being what I got tucked back here. And I'm still going to be using, but I'll show you in the next video what I'm doing with it. This is the amplifier base knob, as you can see. And the downside on these is number one, power light's really bright and the clipping light's really bright. So at night, these things blind the crap out of you. And um, I don't like that. The other problem is I don't like the feel of the knob. Um, and also, I don't like that when you turn this all the way down, it doesn't actually turn the sub all the way off. Like it doesn't cut complete signal from it. It still plays a little bit, which I like to be able to completely control that. So we're gonna hold on to this base knob from the amplifier. I have another plan for that. For what I'm doing today, and what we're gonna learn is this base knob. And many of you probably already know about these, but I wanna do something a little bit different than even you would regularly. So uh, you need to get one of these. It's the, uh, you know, LC1 or whatever on the internet, you can find these. Um, to install it, it's labeled input, output. Input would be RCAs coming out from your subs, from, I mean, from your sub output from your stereo. So this is like a three foot cord I got, or six foot. And it's gonna go on the input side. So you hook those RCAs up. This pair of RCAs goes to my amplifier, goes on this end, turn knob up, you gain loudness, you turn it down, it turns down, and uh, when it's all the way down, it'll be completely no signal going to the back. So I prefer that stuff. So what am I doing? Well, if you notice, I have this little knockout taken out right now, sitting right here. And I want to modify it so that the base knob fits in there. I'm gonna show you how to take this apart and install the base knob onto the back of something like this. Uh, I don't know what these knockouts are for in my little Civic here, but I'm gonna utilize them. And uh, I think I'm gonna to have to do enough modification to this that it might not go back in correctly. But luckily I have a lot of cool glues and adhesives to put it back in. So at any rate, we'll get that fixed. So um, I think for those who are ready to follow along, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull out this console. Uh, Honda Civic's pretty cool, this is a 2000 model. Uh, if you just take out like four screws and uh, this rear half of the console comes out really easily and then uh, we'll work with it on the bench. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I uh, hope you guys follow along. All right, so I sprayed you guys the trouble of uh, pulling this thing out real easy. So now I'm gonna just pop off my little tab here. All right, so this is where I want the base knob to be. Um, obviously, probably mount it this way so that my level's correctly or something like that. <coughs> um, but I gotta get it attached to this so it looks factory. So I'm actually just gonna take this knob apart and uh, we'll go through that. And uh, if I find some tools here and pop this guy apart. So the first thing you need to do is pull the knob off. And then I've already loosened this, but uh, you undo this guy. And then, Take a little screwdriver and we're gonna pry the front of this case off. And I don't know if I can do it one handedly. So there you go. 
guys can see, I'm just popping this front off and it should slide out. So I'm gonna go ahead and use both hands and show you when I'm done. Okay, so I got this off. Now we're looking at the inside here and we're just gonna remove this guy. And it looks like they kind of attach it to the case. You can see there, it just slides straight forward. And you just gotta bring these RCAs with it. And then uh, next challenge is gonna be getting them through and out the case. I might just cut the case open so that I don't have to cut the uh, RCAs to make them fit back through that grommet. So I think this will slide just straight out. And it exposes all our RCA connections and it starts pulling our RCA wire through. So this is the part of the base knob I want. The case I don't want. And since I can't get it really around these RCAs, I'm just gonna cut this case open to get it away from these. So I'm gonna go get my grinder. All right, so I cut the case off here and got the uh, the part we want. So this is exactly everything we need, along with these little bits of hardware. So we can get rid of the rest of this. Because now we're gonna mount it in this piece. So I'm gonna have to Dremel this piece in order to fit our guy here. So I'm gonna work on a way to do that and we'll show you guys. But hopefully you followed along enough you can get this piece out, pretty simple. Just don't want to hurt your wire there. So, we're gonna get it set up so we can mount it in this guy. You can see from the back side, there's plenty of access. So you can get uh, wiring in there. So, we go ahead and get this thing prepped and we'll show you putting it in. All right, so now I've cut the uh, back off this guy so it's just a little panel and get the fit back in here so it goes back in but you're thinking well now it won't stay so we'll deal with that in a second here first thing I want to do is I'm gonna drill the hole for uh, the base knob to go through this right in there in the center so we go choose the drill bit that is the appropriate size for this all right, so I've gone ahead and chose a 932nd. So you can see, hopefully on the camera, that's really close to the diameter of those threads. Just slightly over, just enough for wiggle room. And this little washer still works. So uh, now we're gonna center it on this little plate, starting with a smaller eighth inch bit as a pilot bit. And I'm gonna just punch a hole through the center there. And we'll graduate up to the bigger one. All right, so now we got the hole in there, nice and centered. I'm going to do a little test fit. I'm going to take our piece and stick it on, like so. And then you'll be able to put your nut and washer on there, and then you can push this base knot back on. The finished product is going to be that. So that's what you'll see in the vehicle and be able to crank on. I think it's a really clean way to do it. So now to address the problem of getting it in the console. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this guy back off. And we're gonna glue it in. I'm gonna show you some CA glue that I use. But we'll be able to just insert this here where it goes. And we'll go ahead and glue it into place from the back side. So first thing I'm gonna do is clean this really good. So we'll get uh, some rubbing alcohol and just wipe the crap out of that. And same with the plate, just clean it real good. And then uh, we'll scuff it with a little bit of sandpaper and it'll be ready to glue. Okay, so I'm just gonna go give it a small scuff here on the insides. Just gonna eat the plastic up a little bit. You can see right there, and then we'll take a paper towel and just really wipe that out. Use some rubbing alcohol too, and we'll get that clean. And then we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the back of our cover. All right, so with your piece prepped and ready to be glued in, you use some of this stuff. This is Starbond. This is a clear medium, actually this is a clear thick, See a glue. And this is its activator, so you 
you'll put a dab or two of this in there and uh, then you'll hit it with the activator and it'll harden up and have your piece glued in. So I'm gonna go and put a couple tacks in here and uh, make sure it's secure to the plastic. You got enough in there. That should be good. I'll just do the little tacks and then finally put the bead. And then it sets up. And there's our piece. And you just wipe off the residual uh, accelerator. I spray both sides to try to get it on the back side too. But there's that piece put back in. And uh, now let's go ahead and install our base knob. All right, so we popped this guy through. You can see I'm just holding it in and rotated it so it fits nice on my little cover panel. And then we're gonna put the uh, washer and nut on and uh, tighten that down a little bit and uh, it'll be secure. So I'll go ahead and do that. All right, so as you can see, we're tightened down on that thing now, and it's uh, nice and secure. We got a nice little knob going. Now you can turn this all the way down and kind of orient to your little knob so that it feels like it's all the way down. It looks that way. Push it on there, and then all the way up, all the way down. So there's your console knob. All set up. RCA is coming out the bottom, and that's where I'll hook up those runs out of the car. So, figured that was something cool I would show you guys. Figure I'll go hook it up and we'll test it real quick and then uh, call it a video. Alright, we're gonna check this thing out. Got it mounted here in the console. We're gonna unpause the music and turn it up for a second. And I'll write your name. All right, so cool. I guess in a video or two, we'll take this out and actually turn this thing up. Um, next video, I think what I'm gonna do is show you guys this. We're gonna install this. Uh, we're gonna install a clip light, a clip light out of this, into the dash. You can see how bright that is. I don't want that anymore. So we're gonna take this clip light apart and uh, we'll put it somewhere. So stay tuned for the next video on that, and hopefully you learned something here and enjoyed putting that in a nice location to where it's really accessible and uh, functional. So until next time guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you like, subscribe, comment, and uh, leave some suggestions for uh, future videos. Maybe we'll get to some other topics, but uh, stay tuned for the next one. We're going to take that clip light out of that base knob. We'll put it in the dash somewhere.